Anyway, that's just saving the correct plot this time. That's cool. All right, let's go and see what this archaeology chip is doing over here. I feel like it's going to be in trouble. Really not far compared to where we traveled all the way through here before. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Good way to start the video, Adam. Well, we're just traveling through space. It's not that far, guys. That's odd. I just, I'm detecting a void drag effect, but the nearest celestial object on the scanner is too far away. Maybe a rogue planet or another dark object, like a black hole. Let's be careful, mate. Orange star. There's a, there's a star there. As to explore this reason, it may be useful to make log entries of observations or things you might think you should return to. What are you telling me, mates? Still quite far away, actually. Cruise control, please. Okay, so... You want me to return to the star for some reason? Alright, fine. A funny star. Thank the stars. I was afraid we were going to have to go back the long way. Don't you worry about it. I've just put... Wait, what? One second, let me just pass them by. <clears throat> We've got you. Can't you just activate this, guys? Oh. Ooh, don't go on it yet. I see what this, they're talking about the, that. It wasn't the people that we're trying to save. All right. Non anomalies. Everything's flashing at me. Let's go. This is the area that the, uh, that it was reported. Yep. Cool. We're in the right area. This orange star. You want me to have a look at it and see? Let's find out what is going on. <coughs> a cluster. Of carved stone pyramids. Hey, we've seen these guys before. Only markers of civilization on this planet. Penetrating radar shows that the structures are interior cavities at one point, but have since filled in. Small glyphs on the protruding edges register as writing from the Universal Translator. Just heat it up. Heat it up. And from his chariot, the Talonian. Is this <laughs> is my ship name? Here's the sun with his lance. And then the scintillating jewel, like a lure. With his lance, he cast the jewel into the hidden sea. It's like illuminating distant shores, but the shores left behind were now in darkness. Uh, must have built the... A star-faring civilization must have built these. The fact that they did not also colonize or mine this planet suggests that location had deep, deep culture and religious significance. Okay. I feel like this is from those dudes that we they didn't want us to do anything with. Okay. So you're saying that we might want to come back to the stone pyramids? Is that what you're saying? Hold a second. Whoa. Okay. Funny star. Let's have a look at the funny star. Maybe this is nothing. It's the, it's the pyramids that we have to return to. Star's just going to burn me up as normal. Are we more durable? No. We're burning! Alright, let's take off this funny star thing. Delete. <laughs> That's cool that you get to leave notes around the around the area. You can use them later to find things. Oh. This must be it, guys. Alright, we've got our front cannons now. This should be good. They're in red. Well, these are big guys. Just, just smash into them, Adam. All right, we got to figure out how to fight with these things, though. Jeez, it's going to be freaking difficult. Wait a sec, wait a sec. I don't want two on me. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Don't run, that's the worst thing you can do, mate. 
am I shooting so slow? My, uh... Uh-oh. Oh! One way to do it. I feel like maybe we should have them on the back or something. As we're flying away, we get to... Ow. He's got shots on the back, does he? Well, he's in a dire straits now. Boom! They're definitely strong. Sorry, there's a freaking mosquito I was trying to kill again. Okay, so maybe they're here. They're just hiding. Very hard to aim at those things. They're not here. Let's put down here. We saved you guys. <coughs> this is the old impact crater. Fricks notes that the lack of erosion forces bellies is true its true age. Belies its true age. These jag upthrust will take hundreds of millennia to wear down. I feel like the writing is very sophisticated in a way that makes it less interesting. They're using so many terminologies and stuff. I guess it might be all true and everything, but it is a lot to read. At the center of the crater is a recent excavation site. Its familiar layout suggests a Starcom survey team excavated whatever was here. Okay, so we're on the right track. You're saying we have to move further onwards. I don't know why my ship's so on fire when I'm nearly 80% health. Okay. Oh, you want me to go down here now? Probably going to be more enemies. Crews are ready at the battle stations, though. We're good. Two gas, gas giants. Auto. I should just do it from here, shouldn't I, guys? I got to. I got to attack faster because I got lots of range on them. There's planets everywhere. What's this? Oh, there it is. It's coming to us. Oh, your ship's even better than ours, nearly. Maybe not. This is Captain Dolson, commander of the Aletheia. It's good to see you, another Starcom vessel. While investigating Anomaly, we were confronted by a group of vessels identified themselves as the Devout. I'm not sure what we said wrong, but they started firing on us. They caught us by surprise, and our reactor took heavy damage. Do you need an escort back? Good of you to offer, but unless we encounter large numbers, we should be all right. I didn't expect an attack, which is my own fault. We were ready next time. About the wormhole gateways. Tell them about the wormhole gateways. Rammel's right. Well, that's good news. We'll shorten our travel back quite a bit. Thanks for this information. Did you find anything during your inter interrupted survey? As a matter of fact, we did. When we were attacked, we just had finished investigating a reliquary in a meteor crater. Some interesting scrolls and strange objects we didn't have able, but we haven't been able to analyze it due to the damage. We'll transfer it to your ship. Thanks. Oh, look out! Oh, jeez. Smash. You've only got two engines. But you look like you got better engines than I do. So we can have a look at these things. <clears throat> We've got a couple of things here. Actually. Oh, we got these two things from the pyramid. Uh, engine object composed of a nesting triangles made of unknown material. The Aletheia reported that they uncovered it during an anomaly survey. The material is close to zero resistance. Conducting all of the ship's free energy through it, it didn't even make it warm. Long-term gravitational field analyst of a massive oct oct octahedral octahedral object reveals subtle differences in this region's void effect. Apparently, the Vought have been monitoring it for quite a while. Going to get them angry at us. The archive describes attempts to extract the location of the redacted artifact from the group of Arcadian pilgrims. They were <coughs> only able to piece together a confused reference to the beaten heart of a dead star. Okay. There's some things going on. They're trying to find some redacted artifact of their own. To rule space.
All right. Oh, moving everywhere. Just calm down, ship. It only is difficult to spot from the air. The lander make the lander makes several passes before ends. Kelper spots the target from a distance. It looks like an abandoned outpost that's gradually being erased by the elements. Do we know about this outpost? Up close, it's apparent that the structure's surface have been camouflaged to the color and texture of the surrounding rock. Most of the useful equipment has been removed, but an unusual object directly connects to some tool of unknown purpose was left behind. Let's take it. The object has the ability to change the color properties of certain harder materials. Huh. And camouflage ourselves? I guess we're just going back. I feel like those stone pyramids are nearly, we don't even need them. We got a little bit of research. We could see if we got one more thing. Okay, well, let's go back here because the quest will probably tell us to do something else anyway. What are you doing? Look, you're going back. We're going to beat you there. My goodness. Look how quick our survey team is. We haven't checked out that white star though, but it shouldn't be too much. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, at least it's nice and quick to get back now. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. The traveling is tricky, but that's always part of space. But I'm drawing like the new guns and stuff. I gotta work out how to use them properly. I feel like there should be two forms of it of movement. It's like this quicker one, and then you should be able to like press, I don't know, something. And then slow down. Get a good mark on them. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, lots of things. Oh, yeah, research is what I was going to look into. So if we look at our guns, which are here. Additional fire accuracy assistance. This could be useful, I guess. Damage of more powerful fixed guns that are able to draw more energy per shot for greater damage. But fixed gun shots hit a module or target below a certain health percentage, they will continue through to whatever's behind. Ooh. Pretty cool. I wonder if we put them like somewhere else. Can we rotate them? We can. Interesting. <clears throat> anyway, let's talk to you. Excellent work finding the Al Alethea. You've proven quite capable, but it's relief to know we have a second ship nearby while you continue your exploration of the ship, of the space, sorry. Now that your command crew have a bit of experience in the field, I am assigning them a small team of support personnel to talent. They won't participate in survey missions, but they will speed up ship repairs. Thanks. We've nearly leveled. I'll take a look at that iridescent artifact you found. I've already... I've actually seen something like this in the Gemini shipyard back home. It was used to cus for custom coloring of luxury vessels. We make use of it. I've sent the details over to the lab. If you research chroma plating, you'll be able to customize your ship's color scheme. Why would it be hidden on an outpost? Camouflaging camouflage ships? Doesn't seem particularly useful as camouflage in space, so it's just changed the color and does nothing for the heat signature. It's possible someone was working on a cloaking device, and this is a far as the research took them. Or maybe they're just fashioning forward. Fashion forward. Okay. <clears throat> what else do you want, mate? Oh, this little object you found is full of surprises. It's not simply a puzzle. The complex rules governing the movement of the shapes are a way of encoding information. It's done in quite a clever way. So any particular shape requires prov providing proof of knowledge in a geometric, geometric form. What sort of knowledge? Well, that's where it gets really interesting. The initial conf configuration of the puzzle, which is really more of a codex, reminded me of the equations of Ramak uncovered to the control the gateways. So I tried solving the puzzle for the gateways we know about and out popped a new equation. 
I've sent the coordinates to your first officer. I'll continue to investigate the codex. In the meantime, please be sure to thank Dr. Rama for directing this toy my way. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be happy to hear it. Okay. Um, all right. I don't need to talk to you. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, how does the universal translator work? Surprisingly well. Okay. My lab assistant told me that there was a funny answer to the question. I take her word on that. This is more of a xeno uh, cultural question, which is not my area of expertise. Oh, I don't need to know all that. All for now. Thank you. Simulate heat profile. Okay. <clears throat> Green, yellow, systems normal. Amber, moderate efficiency loss. Red, significant energy lo efficiency loss. Oh, it's going further and further. Why is this going up? So I need to fix this. Because heat's coming from here and then getting... Because all the energy is in one spot. If I move these... I swap these. You can't swap, unfortunately, so it's very hard to to move things around. Let's say. I kind of have to destroy that to move this up here. It's not the easiest thing to to do. All right, what is this like? On this side. So now we've got heat here. This goes red straight away. So if we swap these around. I don't know how this affects things. Next to a battery, which is... Oh, God. Can I undo? <laughs> So annoying. All right, let's think. I had a battery or something. And then I had propulsion. And then I had a wing. And then the gun. <clears throat> I don't think this would be that good either. Because these two things will heat each other up. Okay, this is encased in here. It doesn't like it. Mm. Can I put this in here like this? It does work. But then I lose a bulkhead. Put the battery here. Oh my gosh. Come on. What you want from me? Is this what you want from me? It's a bit better. This is with weapons going flying all the time. <clears throat> That's better. Okay. 
cool. Save to sign. Cool. Save. So we've got chroma plating and crew quarters. These are new things. Allow customization of hull plating colors, which does nothing, just cosmetics, I think. Crew quarters allows the construction of crew quarter modules. Increase the maximum number of support crew. So, support crew just increase the repair rate. They do too much else. Energy pulls from weapons, talent. I don't know exactly what they do, but it's cheap. We can do that. So now we've got crew quarters. Let's take up two slots. And four of the platinum. Okay. So we could take off this, put it in here, potentially. It would be so hard to do this. Have less batteries. Boom. Looks pretty cool. Um, and then ocean like that doesn't look too bad a ship then we could change the colors into yeah it would be cool to change colors but should we do it all right i'll change my colors and i'll be back all right we're just going to keep it simple here uh there's not too many options actually when you change the chroma plating tech you can just change well you can make yourself invisible <laughs> be hard to see um but could go a little bit darker, I guess. Nah, nah. We've got a bright. We can see ourselves on the map. And then just a bit of this orangey red uh, highlights. I guess we could change this to be something a little bit different so we can see it. It's weird. Some colors are a lot better than others. Actually, that's not bad, is it? All right. Done. You're making me spin on my points. And in colors. What is this? Where's the energy production rate? Speed of plasma projectors. So plasma is track. No. I do like these things. Increases your detection radius by 10%. Minor boost to max view range. Let's try that as well, actually. All right. We can go out a little bit more. Here we are. A shiny new vessel. So with those extra crew quarters, I don't know if that automatically put more people on or not. But anyway, what is our plan? The codex shape has given us the coordinates of a nearby wormhole gateway. Can I just use this? Sure can. I do want to go back and try and use that, um... Let me see if these people are going to attack me. Um, I want to try and get this silly thing done wherever we keep failing this thing. That, this thing. Tiny bubbles. They're causing me troubles. What are those two things up here? Oh, is this more, um, resources we can collect? Oh, wait, let me just do these... Planets first, shall we? In he goes. In they go. Seems some climate disaster in the past century caused much of the surface of this planet to flood. Judging from the visible technology, the planet was in pre-space era. The team lands atop a few of the tall structures pr protruding above the sea surface within which the anomaly signal originated. Uh... Gleese examines the architecture. A trap door suddenly opens, plunging them into the briny water. Before the team can react, they are dragged off into a submerged building by crab like creatures wielding some kind of spear guns. Fortunately, uh, Glee's suit telemetry shows they are unhurt and still within several hours of oxygen. As the team use their superior technology to attempt to rescue, Triton tries to negotiate with aliens for. Gilly's release. I guess we do this one. Minus 10% difficulty? Okay, and minus 20. Uh oh. 
Eventually they, res they resort to classic trick of diplomacy, a bribe. Damn! Lost stuff for that one. Sneaky little crabs. All right. Okay, so what are, oh, these is like bad debris. Uh, these containers have similar markings to the ones spilled that cargo ship near Maya. I wonder how they got here. Yeah, good question. Well, they've got stuff in them. I'm happy about that. Very hard to aim these. Jeez. I even, like, think about taking off our spin. Oh, cool. Boom. It's hard, guys. I don't want uranium. Oh, come on. You must hit something. This is good stuff, actually. Whoa! Mister! Come up behind me like that. It is actually to see you again, friend Whiskamum Mug. What do we got? You want new. Hmm. Not great statistics there, mate, though. Okay. All right, let's survey this area here. Look at his ship. I wonder what kind of weapons he's got. Several hundred square kilometers of this planet's surface are scarred with meteor impact craters. Most of the craters have little, little to no debris. The meteor is having vaporized on impact, but in some, a chunk of the slag remains. The team conducts a series of short flights in the lander, easily gathering them up. These are obviously the result of the debris fields orbiting the star. Boom. The explosions are nice looking, aren't they? Um, let's get out of the way of this thing. So, is this a limited time thing here? Once we get rid of these, they'll never come back again, I guess. Looks like they are coming back. What a shot. <laughs> this is good though, guys. Juicy resources. Yeah, Paul, mate, we're just resource gathering here. Okay, the rate isn't that big. It's not like we get much from... Emissary? I did see one of these before. Definitely a ship. Traveling so fast that it's leaving a wake in its wake. <laughs> Alright, looking good, looking good. Oh, it's putting us on fire because we went into those other bits. Two more pieces left, apparently. Let's get them all. Be that piece over there. And oh, I think they're both explosives though. We've got to keep this world safe. Boom. There we go. I wonder if that'll reform. Cool. 
We got this yellow star. Let's do it. So that was so interesting. That's a warp gate to nowhere, realistically. This isn't that far off. Red Raider region. That's that weird thing. And then we got we got attacked over here, I think. Oh. This is where we got attacked. No, that's where we got attacked. And we tried to jump across to here. Okay. What do we got down here? I'm guessing they thought that we might see this. Desert D2. Scanner up. We got a, a jumper, a flinger. Imagine the resources it would cost to fling, to make a flinger, and then you just like, it's got nothing in the planets. An ancient stone pyramid again, rise out of the thick mountain jungle. Its injury is mostly overgrown, but easily detected by the land of scanners. At one point, the interior was equipped with a sophisticated technology furnishings. This academy, this academy was dedicated to the study of the wormhole gateways. They had made some dramatic insights shortly before research stopped abruptly. Uh, most of which had been stripped away by the looters and or archaeologists. Some documents store in low res holographic crystals remain as Triton explains, this was an ac academic institution devoted to the study of the remnants of the artifacts. Okay. okay. You think how big these planet are, planets are. You wouldn't be able to do them in one day like that. I don't think there's anything on the suns. Let's go in here and see where it takes us. Well, a long way. Okay, so this is where we got attacked, isn't it? Maybe. We do have better guns now. No, I think it was the next one down. I've checked all these areas. What was there? Why is that still flacking? flashing? Is this rocky? Baller. Why didn't they come to this place? Oh, yeah, that's right. Only technology recorded uh, the outside server scans take platinum and copper. I guess we just dismantle this. Nothing else I can do with it. Whoa! Okay, we might get in trouble. Yeah, we're gonna get in trouble. Alright. These guys don't have any weapons on them. We've got things getting sent to us already. Oof. We do some decent damage now, though. Oh, ho, ho. You be careful of us. Oh! Great stuff. We're just showing our combat expertise. A member of the talent support personnel has been critically injured. Some ship repairs will be slightly degraded until we return to Alina. Oh. How did that happen? In the wrong place at the wrong time. It's good to cast our eyes on you. We'd like to trade. We told you we don't trade. Okay. Sometimes we get missions, sometimes we don't from them. Um, so do we want to go on this flinger? A trade port. Star need to stay near it for a few seconds. Oh. Tons of stuff down there. We haven't been in that flinger yet. All right, let's go on the flinger. Send me here. Go there a sec. All right, so quick trading. 
What's this? Oh, the derelict. That's right. Ready, guys? I don't, oh. I don't think we really need too much, though. Every time I look at the trading, um, I do want these to a certain amount. Island gliders. Nine. We've got, they want 40. We do get a bit from this, though. Just grab a couple. All right. It's going to take a while to get to that. All right, let's go up here. Ooh. We haven't been to wherever this is. Oh, jeez. Oh. This is a long way. Oh, another Stargate. Oh, that's good. Nice. All right, what's on this planet? That's good. Easy way to get here. No one on these. That word is so hard to say. Anomalies detected. Another pyramid-ish thing. Uh, it sets the lander down atop a ridge with a commanding view of a dramatic lighting. Most of the surrounding structures have fallen into decay, save for a large pyramid carved from solid rock. Opening on one side, facing the collapsing city, inside the gruesome is a gruesome sight. Hundreds of de desiccated corpses show signs of both blunt trauma and kinetic weapon damage. Morals have been defaced with graffiti. False paths through the remnants domain are false idols and will be waste, washed in blood. The true paths are seen with devotion. As a foreign object inside its digestive tract. What? Individual apparently swallowed his, this object prior to their death. Brown notes that given their anatomy, this would eventually have killed them without surgery. Surgical intervention. Kaleidoscope. Okay. Got a couple of things we can uh light here. Controlling Xeum or Zero. Since this is our own technology, we're not likely to learn much scientific degree. Okay. Device in in, in ingeniously stores fairly high density data in a crystalline structure, shining a bright light through one end reveals a consistent binary pattern through the other with an error correction mechanism oddly the data seems completely random oh my god fixed guns oh smart fixed projectiles what is smart fixed guns control smart free fires only guns with hostile target in range huh. What do we got? Level ups? Spent skill points. Well, I just don't think there's any other reason rather than just to... I guess we could look at upgrading one in particular that was that's troubling us, but I feel like just a... Just be masters in your classes. Do they get something special if they're 10? Do we get to 10 quicker on some of them or not? I don't, I don't know. That's still... I've seen the kind of control used by military divisions in some research projects. Extremely high energy, but impractical as a weapon. We've now cat uh, catalogued structures of similar style across multiple planets. While many civilizations build pyramids, this distinctive relief faceting is unusual and strongly points to a construction by a common culture. Yep, yeah. you can see that. Pyramids everywhere. Silver balls. These may be natural phenomenon. Compressed helium may have expanded within deep layers of aluminium in a fluid phase. Many bubbles that rose through the atmosphere and expanded. Okay. We get 24 aluminium. 
not much aluminium, because aluminium is like the most common resource it feels like but it's something remember that weird void drag effect i mentioned i calculated the tangent at peak in nigrian space and mark where i think its origin is what Okay. Fair enough, mate. So have we done all the planets here? No, no, he's doomed pyramid. And then a wormhole. So are we going to be coming back to these places at some point? I guess we're going to move on now. I might even come here and just try my luck against here again. Thing is, we have a wormhole close by. <laughs> the interesting way of getting there quickly as an app. Uh, what's this? This is this guy that likes to talk to us sometimes? Why are you stopping? Did he trade with us? I don't think. Oh, he does trade with us. 21 and 22. What are you trading? Copper. We got 71 copper. Oh, delicate device, gas grenade, large knife. What are these for? Hmm. Primer used in few fission based weapons that's probably important i don't like trading my stuff away i guess these are a big part of it but maybe later mate when we're rolling in it all right what were you play what maybe you walked into the guy and thought i can't hit the enemy let's go oh we've got enemies These guys are closer. Oh, we got lots of enemies. Oof. Hey, is he running away? Oh. These things are supposed to shoot by themselves. It's definitely not. Or maybe it goes red when I... Can target someone? I'm not sure. Alright, thanks for the extra stuff. We could nearly take on those raiders, I think. If we take them out, they'll stop spawning, though, probably. Alright, let's grab this place over here quickly. I think we just... Oh, got some more people though. A destroyer? Oh, it is pretty smart actually. It's hitting, it's like helping my aim. Thanks. All right, I like smart attacks. It occurred to me that the random data from the kaleidoscope relic could be the key to accessing that heretic space structure. Oh, okay. Two defenders. We go back to that heretic one and be able to activate it, but I don't know where that would take us. All right, guys, you got this. Ooh. Uh, still not. Guys, get prepared for it next time, okay? I oh. think that's all we need to do. 
I think we want to upgrade before we... That's the heretic portal we can activate now. We've got this red raider place, which I am keen to do. Let me see if there's... Looks like that's all gone now. Let's come back here and see what we got. I don't, we haven't got much research. I guess that's one thing these these guys down here would give us. Is research points. Alright. We'll buy one of the things, shall we? Delicate device, gas grenade or large knife. Probably this would be the best. Alright. Then we can gain a bit more research from that. Not much. The device projects in a aesthetically pleasing hologram of ever-changing colors. I don't care if the colors contain any actual information, although they do show some fractal characteristics. All right. We'll head back home. Not as many um, stones at the moment. And then we'll go to this deep space gravity. I don't know what this is. And then I guess we'll um, get ready to go here. I, maybe we'll go down here and see if we can take out this colony first. Is this a heretic one as well? Yes. That noise. Oh, just going. Okay. Let's think got people who want to attack us here. Okay, we'll take them out. Yes. I actually can't... F oh. I think they picked on the wrong people here. That bribe worked wonders. You guys don't need this stuff, do you? take long all right I've transferred the critical engine support personnel to medbay we've been assigned replacement from their staff thanks so I might even want one more of these if possible I don't know where we move this to our ship does look pretty cool now Now, research-wise, we've got 150. It's not too bad. The damage per energy, additional fire ac accuracy assistance, which could be good. Um, every crew member, at least one biomed, has a 10 chance of preventing support crew from being critically injured. Every crew member, additional skill levels on the same uh, increases repair rate, detection range, energy, advanced void surfaces, construction of larger void surface components for faster deep travel. Okay. Turning and lateral movement. Increase the performance penalty of damaged models. Okay. Increase the rate at which modules dissipate heat to neighbors and or radiate into space. Okay. Increase the resistance of deflectors and allows construction of larger deflector modules. Larger bulkheads. All kind of good things. Maybe we'll do this improved deflectors. We should be able to get two things. Please. Increase our engine's max thrust. Oh, yeah. So this one might be able to... Oh, engine's two. Yes, we should have got engine's two. So these are just improving our current engines, which is fine. We've got these double deflectors, which need 12 iridium. Huge Louise. We got little mini ones. Okay. We can still get one more plasma. We could put a plasma on top of this, I guess. Ah, uh, we 
car. Two little guns only. We need to increase our ship size. Which would be hull, maybe? Yeah, explorer hull, probably. Allows the construction of explorer sharp class ship with a base max hull size of 40. What do we got at the moment? 30? Only 10 extra, but still. All right. Uh, so what's the quickest way to that? I'm sure it will tell me. Probably going through the wormhole. Yeah. I don't know really what this is giving us, but we'll go there. Who's this? Derelict Scout? We didn't see this before. This wreck is fairly recent. Uh, this scout ship has no armament, so it must have been a one-sided fight. Close to the commission during combat, there's some salvage material. Seven titanium. Like, can I destroy this? It won't allow me to fight. I'll show you. Does it give me pieces? I would have thought it would like give me a few pieces. Oh, it does. Extra one aluminium. Well, all right. all right, head over here, mate. We need some bigger wings, I guess, at some point. Polyhedral artifact. That's what the guys were looking for. Whoa. This must be the source of the gravitational distortion. Scanners show it's hundreds of times denser than solid neutronium. Massive artifacts and apparent, apparent point of access. No apparent. It has an apparent point of access, requiring a special connection to close the circuit. Triangle artifact obtained by the Aletheia appears to match perfectly. Inside, it's a massive space that seems even larger than the exterior despite expanding in all directions every part seems to converge at the single point a small platform at the center of the unsettling geometry this looks like uh, no man's sky uh, at the center is a black sphere uh, as the team approaches the structure seems to shift in impossible ways all the shapes seem to align perfectly in every dimension and the sphere begins to expand the team hastily retreats but every path leads back inwards just the sphere seems to be about to engulf the lander the, the craft and the team find themselves back outside the structure um, I'm detecting a buildup of energy from inside the artifact. Is it gonna? Artifact has discharged a massive amount of energy. We just discovered a half a dozen previously unknown particles. It's full of stars. 200 research points? Is it doing it again? Oh, we've started something up, have we? Pretty cool looking. Okay. It's just how it seem harmless to us. It's mostly hard because it don't interact with uh, baryonic matter. They have no idea what it's actually doing. Okay, do you want me to stay here? Or are we going back home? Investigation complete. All right. 200 research, research points. We can use that. I think we're probably ready to hit up this next the raider base. Oh no, I'm going to go up down here first. Because there was a little base there. I don't know whether to unlock the heretic gates first. Maybe I should do that. Okay. 
Uh, I see you've taken a break from blowing stuff up to make an actual interesting discovery. A polyhedral artifact you activated seems to discharge energy on the scale of a large solar flare every 14.3 seconds. Yet with minimal ionizing radiation, the new elementary particle is unveiled are quite intriguing. So mean we're going to be less condensed, condescending? Are we less condescending today? If you want me to be friendly tomorrow, make another discovery that changes our understanding of physics. What is it? Obviously way beyond our technology, with the brief amount of time I've had to, the data, I've come up with two hypotheses. One is some kind of beacon the, the exotic particle is producing would be unmistakable at any distance. Another possibility is that the while the object generates a very large amount of energy, perhaps that energy is only part of the equation. As it requires some additional input, either information, material, or even more energy to start without whatever process is designed for. This is just speculation, and who and why the artifact are of secondary importance. Those particles emanating our reality is what interests me. So what did you learn from our trip through the gateway? Obviously I was correct in believing that it served a similar purpose to the wormhole destabilizing that Starcom construction did. It's not powerful enough to create a wormhole to our universe, but it can create local bridges in the space manifold. We have constructed it was technologically very advanced despite the lower power level. These gateways distort space much more efficiently than our sub, sub stabilizers. It's possible that if we can find more artifacts like these, we could open a worm from home from this side. Okay. So I think we do this explorer hole. Increase the resistance of deflectors. Increase the rate at which modules dissipate heat. Maybe that's important. We'll get better engines. I'm going to do this one first, do the rest later. So now I can do this. Now that we've researched explorer hulls, we can create larger ships if you have enough resources. Choose new ship from the lower right and select explorer. What? This is, this is the Falco one, I guess. So I have to make a new ship. Explorer. Oh, I need more. To even create it. Titanium and ethering. Well, darn it. Oh, we're close. We don't have any air three, though. So we're stuck with what we've got. So I should have went the other way, which would have improved, improved my... Uh, improved my thrusters. Less hexes. All right, I want to go to here, but we'll go to this heretic place, shall we? How easy is it to get there? Oh, my gosh. Wait, how easy is it to get to here then? Go here instead. Go up from the bottom. Alright, bring it on. I think there was like four people and they were taking us, just throwing us three missiles at us, but we should be fine now. Especially with three guns. So I got two of these to shoot down small missiles. Vessel detected ahead. Derelict. Okay. The derelict is in remarkably good condition, particularly since neutronium decay readings on the reactor show it's been dead in space for decades, not longer. It's the Maria Curie Celesti. Uh, radiation levels are quite elevated, but still safe enough for a short and best case. There's no sign of a cruel passages. Sorry, that was a funnier in my head. What? I didn't get it. The cargo hold has a number of containers, materials including some radioactive, but they are still intact and not explained the elevant elevations and radiation. Nice. Can we destroy it? The fact that we can't shoot with our other guns is a bit annoying though. So I think smart just means, where is that? 
means that I can only shoot if there's enemies. This is a strong ship. Hey, neutronium, that's what we need. Holy Jamoli, this is a powerful ship. Man, oh man. Pick up a missile engine? Okay, I should be destroying all these. Part of the automation is faster than light missiles. Nice. Let's hit the sun. I'm guessing I said enemies here. Enemies. We're on it. All right, I can see him. So he'll send out small dudes first, I guess. Ice ship, yeah. Um, I want to take your small ships first, mate. Oof. Okay, here's the small ships. Let's go for them first. Okay, we've done well, we've done well. Look at the stuff we're picking up. Oh, Ooh, big guy. Oh, we've got some big guns. He's coming straight at me. Take his trusters out. Oh, oh we might have. Uh oh. Oof, oof. Some intense battling. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. You'll have other missiles and stuff throwing at us, but we're going for it. Yep, you're in trouble. Oof. Boom! Nice. Pyramid is a wide open entrance that leads to a small complex of chambers. The team conducts an exhaustive search but comes up empty handed. General tidiness suggests it was left in an orderly manner, unlike some previous visited temples. Just after the lander lifts off, Kelper spots something that didn't register with the anomaly scanner. Uh, Pyrex pilots the lander in a small pr pr prominently uh, promontory a few kilometers away from the pyramid, and the team finds a small encampment. It had until recently been well concealed, but uh, erosion has caused it camouflage barrier to collapse. In the camp is a bipedal skeleton in the Enviro suit, a compact transmitter, and a small collection of short and notes. The skull has three ocular openings in a small configuration that, uh, devout, to the devout. Similar to the devout. Could be the same species or close relative. The notes translation as, first report, evacuation is complete. I have select, settled into my observation routine. Nothing eventful. No report, perhaps we are wrong. I must not get my hopes up. Um, rot? No, 37. The fanatics arrived. Rot, 23. Their search for the academy took 1.6 rotations. Detailed search out to radius. Flyover out to five. More organizing than I had expected. Do not confuse fanaticism for madness. They passed nearby, but my cover is excellent. I waited 13 rot to transmit. 
even though I know they will not be able to find you. Water ran out three rotations ago. This will be my last transmission. I hope my MEGA observations provide you some useful intelligence. The transmitter is an unusual design powered by an external source which still contains some light. Acquired burst transmitter. Cool. So we'll uh, check out all these planets, then we'll go and activate that heretic portal, I guess. No anomalies, we've done that one. With great difficulty, uh, pilots landed through a blinding sandstorm. Sensors estimate whatever the signal was is not too far. That is, if there was anything at all. The huge amount of charged dust is wrecking havoc with instruments. Shifting dunes cover un uncovered geo geological features on an almost hourly basis. Uh, oh gosh, here we go. Hey. During a brief pause in the heavy sandstorm, Kelper spies an implausible site a lush oasis and otherwise dry planet when the team lands to investigate they discover an artificial pool filled with a deep underground aquifer surrounded by greenery at the bottom of the clear water is a large stone slab covered in writing these plants are actually genetically engineered colonies of brocade roots they have been designed to need little water while producing a lush foliage like appearance uh translation as follows in 50 years, this entire world will be just as lush, thanks to Xenoform Guild Tech. Contact your local purveyor to reserve your unknown unit of land area today. Uh, estimates this aquifer's depletion that this advertisement is roughly three centuries old. Didn't work. 100% did it. All right, let's have a look at this then. There's an interface communication with artists but requires a code. Jeez Louise. Okay. Why is there a big square on that? So I think that's everything we need for now. That's a trade port. You think I need to go to this one specifically? Ray's completely recovered. There's definitely no more artifacts there, so that's all done. We haven't got much more, have we? Got no oh we got three things here. Vice capable of transmitting short high targeted burst emissions across a great distance. Whirlpools are apparently the devote call wormholes. They are using something called whispers to try to locate a specific one. Amber Julie is has awoken, illuminated by the old text and revealing their chariots designed to us. Prepare the missionaries. There's also a lot of obtuse mathematical formulae. That was quite a, a bit of stuff. Alright, I might head back and then we'll probably go and take the raiders on. But um I'll head back myself here, guys. And then we can continue on after I've gone to the main base.